Well, you could start by burning off this crud. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Once more. Aye, aye. Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? Ah! Promising. Again.
Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Got the crank covered. You do the other stuff.
new vantage point, brother. Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other yeah. stuff. They seen us. Find you. <sighs> Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stone, stone, stone. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, what? Ooh, that's brisk. Pick up, grab some for the lead. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch it learn. See, dwarven magic's all about the intangible. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. I was knee high to a noken, but Zinger had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so reverent. 
Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No, fuck you! Go on, pasty! Turn the crank! Let's do this! It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way! Let me look! Fix everything in this dang city my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, if this place ain't in some disrepair, it's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out, John. The cranky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the once she does, there's something to be hold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tape. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plum dropped. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Jody, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it.
She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Victor almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Thank you! Look at him! Ah! 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 
got back. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a tour. Ah, we got volunteers! Nasty head! You all right, brother? That's a stop! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns. What the hell? Ain't this just like old times? I put it more forebodingly myself. <laughs> Doing this one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack stabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, lick my face! There's eyeballs that fall! Oh, get your throwing arm in here! <laughs> Around and smash 
that thing before more things come out. Guesses, belt boy. Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. I just now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> of the both of you and we can call a square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps mamia oh very well
Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious today to get working and working. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid, you really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy 
is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Come Let's on. see what Brock made you. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. The Alpha. Use the shield strike! Oh. 